Hello. All right. Hello, welcome. Or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Nandito na naman po tayo para mag-live. So nagla-live stream lang po talaga ako ngayon mainly because I am too busy. So it's like hitting two birds in one stone. So one for content and number two is para mapilitan na akong mag-aral with this. So tomorrow meron kaming modular exam in pharmacology. So Module 4, modular exam in module 4, and that consists of pharmacology and pharmacokinetics, and under none is meron toxicology, compatibilities, and adverse drug reactions. So, as you can see in our title, meron tayong um, lecture. I, I will teach you some, yung mga pinahamadali lang na lecture, because masyadong bulky ang pharmacology for me to actually lecture it. So, Yes, yung mga madadali lang i-lecture para mabilis lang. And also, dapat medyo summarize na. And second is, I will play a flashcard. So, it's like a game again. So, maghuhulaan na naman tayo. So, ngayon, wala pa talaga ako nare-review. Ano pa lang talaga to? Parang, this is the first time na magre-review ako ngayon and live siya. So, pagpasansyahan nyo na ako, hindi ko masagot yung iba. And the number three is, pa ako practice. So, I tried testmanship sa PACOP. So, ito yung listahan ko. Madami yan. So, na, walang green and violet. Ay, hindi. Merong violet. May pharmacology sa violet PACOP. Pero, wala akong copy ng violet PACOP ngayon. So, currently, meron akong green, pink, and blue. Green, walang pharmacology sa green. Meron lang meron lang sa pink and blue. So, currently na try ko na yun i-practice in. And then medyo maraming topic sa pharmacology. So, wait lang ah. Okay, alright. So, chinek ko lang kung may audio ako kasi, you know, I can't really check it. So, baka nagsasalita ako tapos wala naman pala akong audio. Okay. In pharmacology, marami kasing topics sa pharmacology. I can say na ito, isa ito sa mga pinaka-bulky, oops, pinaka-bulky na subject na aralin. So, we have GI disorder. We have CNS. Yung CNS, sobrang dami talaga niya. We have the autonomic and, oh my god, sorry, yes, meron tayo non, may topic tayo non, we have parasympathetic and sympathetic, and then we have pain management, so under non yung NSAIDs and opioids, we have respiratory drugs, we have drugs for coagulation, so for blood, antiplatelet, antithrombotic, ganern, and then we have for cardiovascular, drugs like for anti-angina, anti-hypertension, anti-CHF or chronic heart failure. Yeah. So, we have in-house review. So, i ang dami kong sinasabi ng so. Kung sino makalista ng so, bibigyan ko ng reviewer. <laughs> makalista kong ilang so yung masasabi ko this live stream. <laughs> so, I'll try na baguhin <laughs> And then, ayun, in conclusion, marami talaga siya. I don't know how, how much time will I consume sa pag-review nito kasi papasadahan ko lang naman talaga siya. Sa sobrang dami ng kailangan reviewin sa pharmacology, I need to just practice answering questions kasi hindi mo talaga siya ma maaaral ng todo-todo. Yeah. Just trust your uh, stock knowledge. Okay, without further ado, let's go, Garod. Mm -hmm.
apologize kung medyo pangit yung mic ko. I think I need to invest sa mic kasi medyo ano niya na hahanginan ko kapag nagsasalita ko yung mic ko but this is the best that I have right now. So, magtiis tayo pareho. Okay. Um, first is the type of adverse drug reaction. So, there are A, B, C, D, E, F. There are six type of adverse drug reaction. Pag sinabi natin adverse drug reaction, so, those are noxious and unintended. Hindi mo gustong mangyari sa pasyente mo. Ganun. Pero nangyayari. That's why we have a type and kailangan natin malaman kung ano yung mga yon. First is, actually yung letters, it tells you kung ano, na, kung ano yung type eh. At least ito, medyo mas madaling maintindihan. Number one is A, augmented, B, bizarre, C, continuous or chronic, delayed, for D, E, E for end of use, and then F for failure of therapy. Pag sinabi natin augmented, let's zoom it out here. Pag sinabi natin aug- augmented, it is dose dependent and predictable, rationalizable, pharmacologically related. Pag sinabing augmented in other term is kadikit na siya nung gamot. Parang kapag binigay mo to, automatically or there is a high possibility na mangyayari talaga to sa pasyente. So there are we have two types na augmented uh, adverse drug reaction or what we call ADR for short. We have the prolonged or the extensive extension, sorry. We have the extension effect and we have adverse effect. Pag sinabi extension effect, as it says, extension, parang pinahabang effect. Kapag ginamit mo yung gamot ng in a certain period of time, medyo mahaba, mangyayari ito. And then, adverse effect is yung kung ano lang yung unwanted na nangyari sa kanya. Example nun is sulfonylurea. So, we know that sulfonylurea is anti-diabetic drug. So, pinapababa niya talaga yung glucose level mo. So, technically, ang magiging adverse drug reaction niya is hypoglycemia or low glucose level. We also have um, sedation for benzodiazepines na mga drug. So, benzodiazepines are anxiolytics um, and it can cause sedation o pampakalma o pagiging kalma. Pagiging kalma. And then, we have ACE for ACE inhibitor. We have dry cough kasi pinapababa niya yung bradykinin. Ay, hindi pala. Pinapataas niya yung bradykinin. That's why it can cause dry cough. Next is bizarre. So, when we say bizarre, it is unknown. Hindi mo alam kung bakit nangyari yun. Like, you don't know. So, it's mostly about the genes kasi hindi siya explainable. We have four types ng bizarre type of drug reaction. We have um, drug intolerance, hypersensitivity, and pseudoallergy, and idiosyncratic. <clears throat> when we say drug intolerance, you can't tolerate yung gamot. Kunyari, kapag may, kapag umiinom ka, umiinom ka ng gamot, ah, sorry, kapag umiinom ka ng alak, parang kahit isang shot mo palang lasing ka na, ganun yung drug intolerance. You cannot tolerate yung alak or yung gamot. Then we have hypersensitivity, so ito yung allergy, kung may aller- allergic reaction ka sa gamot. Then we have pseudo-allergy. Pag sinabi pseudo-allergy, is it's not technically allergic reaction, pero kamukha siya, kaya pseudo. Kasi nga, kapag may allergy, ito medyo pinapasadahan ko na lang ha. Like, I assume na yung mga nanonood is may alam kahit paano in medical terms or how things goes. So, how things go? How how things go. <laughs> so, hindi ko na masyadong i-explain pa. So, yung pseudo-allergy is, di ba, pag may allergic reaction ka, nag-release yun ng histamine. Ang ginagawa sa pseudo-allergy is parang nagkaroon lang ng mabilis na paglabas ng histamine sa mast cell. So, wh- that's what we call degranulation. It's not technically allergic reaction, pero napalabas lang si histamine na wala sa oras. Hmm, ganun. And then we have idiosyncratic. Idiosyncratic, ito yung hindi mo alam. Ito yung may kinalaman sa genes. Then hypersensitivity branch out into four types. So, mas madali natin siyang matatandaan in terms of acid. A-C-I-D. Ang type 1 is anaphylactic. 
So, ito yung hypersensitivity reaction itself. Kanyari, allergic ka sa penicillin or sa cephalosporin because of the beta-lactam link. And then, we have C for cytotoxic. Pag sinabing cytotoxic is, technically, toxic siya sa cell mo. So, pinapatay niya yung cell mo or it cause um, a plastic anemia o pagbaba ng mga cells mo. Pag sinabi kasi yung plastic an- anemia, mababa yung RBC, mababa yung WBC, mm, ganun. And then, we have immune complex. For the eye, pag sinabi immune complex is, nandito na yung may kinalaman na yung antibody and antigen na nasa katawan. Then, we have D or delayed reaction. Ang may kinalaman naman dito is si T cells. Next is continuous. Pag sinabi continuous or chronic, so technically, parang matagal mo lang ginamit yung gamot, kaya ka nagkaroon ng ganong um, side effect or adver- ADR. Um, we have three types. We have drug tolerance, drug addiction, and drug dependence. Pag sinabing drug tolerance naman, kung i-compare mo sa drug intolerance, kung yung drug intolerance, isang shot mo pa lang, hindi ka na, nalasing ka na. Pag drug tolerance, ay kahit nakasampung shot ka na, nakaisang bote ka na ng alak, wala pa rin epekto sa'yo. That's drug uh, tolerance. Mataas na yung threshold mo para maapektuhan ng gamot. Then, sa kaduluhan, sa mo ma- mararamdaman yung mga effect ng gamot. And then, we have drug addiction. Pag sinabing drug addiction is physiologically and psychologically addicted, addicted ka. So, kapag hindi mo kapag hindi mo na 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 take yung isang gamot ay is para magkakaroon ka ng withdrawal symptoms or and psychological symptoms. So meron siyang yung kahit masama na sa iyo, parang gusto mo pa rin. And then drug dependence is ito naman yung may walang walang physiological uh, dependence or walang physiological na naka aapekto pero merong psychological Dependence lang siya, parang gusto mo lang, sa isip mo lang na kailangan mo yung gamot, pero hindi mo naman talaga kailangan. Ganun. And then we have delayed, or delayed meaning, nagtitake ka na, nagtitake ng gamot, then saka mo mararamdaman in, in a few years time, for example. So we have three types, uh, sorry, we have two types. We have carcinogenic and teratogenic. Pagka sinabing carcinogenic is yun yung formation of mga cancer cells. And then, we have teratogenic is kapag nagkaroon ng malformation or naapektuhan yung baby, yung baby. For example, meron pregnant ka tapos umiinom ka ng, ng alcohol habang pregnant ka. So, magkakaroon ng fetal alcohol syndrome yung baby in kapag kapanganak niya. And then, we have end of use is yung sudden discontinuation or yung withdrawal symptoms na. I mean, yung kapag umiinom ka ng gamot, then tinigil mo. Dun, ka, dun magkakaroon ng adverse drug reaction. For example, is um, ito. We have benzodiazepine. So, sabi ko, ang benzodiazepine is an anxiolytic. Therefore, kapag so, nagpapakalma siya, ang kapag tinigil mo siya bigla, ang magkukos ka, magkukos ka, magkukos yon ng insomnia. And then, we have nasal, de- nasal decongestion. Ah! nasal decongestant. So, ito yung mga finiliprin. Pero, pag topical, ang nangyayari, kapag ginamit mo siya for 5 five, five days, then tinigil mo, uh, magkakaroon ka ng rhinitis medicamentosa. Ito yung RM. Rhinitis medicamentosa or rebound, decon- rebound congestion. So, imbes na na nawala yung congestion mo sa pag yung sa colds mo is magkakaroon ka pa ng more congestion. And lastly is we have failure of therapy. Um, in the word itself, failure of therapy, hindi umepekto yung gamot. So, there are a lot of factors and especially dun yung com- uncompliance ni patient. So, ang example nun is AMR or adverse uh, microbial resistance. So, kapag nag-fail yung therapy tas hindi mo tinake na in right time and right amount, yung antibiotic nagkakaroon ng antimicrobial resistance so therefore, lalakas mas lalakas o mas magiging resistant yung mga microbials 
And then we have uncontrolled hypertension. Kapag hindi ka nagtitake ng mga hypertensive medication mo, ang nangyayari is mas lalong lalay, lalala yung hypertension mo. Boom! And that's type of ADRs. So, in summary, we have six types of adverse drug reaction. We have A, B, C, D, augmented, bizarre, continuous, or chronic, A, B, C, D, delayed, end of use, and failure of therapy. Under hypersensitivity, we have four types. We can, we can memorize it as acid, mm, uh, that's A for anaphylactic, C for cytotoxic, I for immune complex, and D for delayed reaction. It can be uh, um, nakakalito. <laughs> nakakalito siya kapag hindi mo alam yung mga subcategories niya. So, I suggest na ang pinaka aside from some mismong meaning nung A, B, C, D, E, F ang pinaka tandaan nyo is yung mga examples under nila. So, I'll give you time para i-screenshot to and Ayun. Ito pala. Para medyo kita niya. Hindi pala kita yung... or gusto nyo nitong copy ng notes ko na ito, you can just chat it and then I can send it to you kasi feeling ko kahit screenshot nyo, hindi nyo masyado makikita kasi maliit okay so, I gave you the lecture already so, ang um, next naman natin is to do flashcards dun 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 Yan. mabilis matatapos itong live stream ko ngayon. Sa bagay, hindi pa ako nag-answer ng pako. So, in this, medyo mas talakasan ko yung yung aking odd, uh, music so that hindi kayo masyadong madistract kapag nagsasagot din ako. Let me just ayos-ayos this. <laughs>
prostate cancer. Type of Oh, that's nice. 
po na po si Whiskey kasi hindi nyo na po siya pina, ano, pinapansin. Binawi nyo daw po kasi yung pagpansin sa kanya. Di ba Whiskey? <laughs> pasadahan na natin yung flashcard let's let's try it again na magkasama <laughs> wow so ano yung type of AMR T type na adverse drug reaction ng AMR type F type na hypersensitive type 2 cytotoxic type 4 delayed bleeding 4 yeah, 2 2, 2, 2, again. Hypoglycemia A, extension effect. Thalidomide focomilia. Over under F. Antibiotic A, diarrhea. Ang rational na dito kung, kung bakit diarrhea is because our GI tract has, an, has good and bad bacteria. So kung gumamit ka ng antibiotic, na aapektuhan yung bacteria na nasa katawan mo na nasa gut mo <laughs> benzodiazepine insomnia type E clonidin um, rebound hypertension clonidin is alpha 2 agonist causing or it's, it's used for hypertensive emergency so kapag Nag, uh, sa type E, end of use dahil uh, binigla mo ng, ng tigil dapat tinitaper down kasi yung dose kaya nagkakaroon ng rebound hypertension steroid C pag C, pag kinontinue mo ng kinontinue ang steroid, it can cause Cushing syndrome so yun yung may moon phase, yung may humbuck hypertension then isotretinoin type D, D delayed D Sure. Uh, heart and brain anomaly. Again, type 1 hypertrichosis. So, minoxidil is actually used for hypertension. Papababa siya ng hypertension, pero 
mas nakita nila na mas effective siya sa pampa haba ng buhok so dahil sa kanyang adverse drug reaction na hypertrichosis Hypersensitivity for tuberculin test type 4, type Arthur's reaction type 3, uh, nasal decongestant uh, for topical uh, rhinitis medicamentosa, uh, serum sickness type 3, alopecia whole body universalis, alcohol, fetal alcohol syndrome diethyl salvestral vaginal and cervical cancer phenytoin abstain anomaly ah, fetal hydantoin syndrome again chromium, chromium prostate ah lang nalilito ako sa chromium at cadmium kasi they're both si chromium ang lang cancer again. antineoplastic alopecia ano to, ano tinatanong dito Type, type, type. A, yeah. A, nitroglycerin. Headache. Headache kasi nitroglycerin is used for migraine. Cadmium, ito yung prostate cancer. Hypersensitivity, tissue organ rejection for A, drug induced for I, 3, immune complex. Ano ba yan? Well, proic acid. It is pina bifida. Tama. Antihistamine sedation. A's and ARBs uh, renal dysgenesis. The rationale here is because ang ina affect nila is yung raas, which is on the kidney. Constipation. A. E. Addison's disease. So, remember, kapag continuous type C, ang steroid ay Cushing. C, C, C. Kapag E is Addison's disease. Scalp lang is totalis. Leukemia, CNS depressant, type A sedation, vinyl chloride, measure. Ah, yun si Anjas ako. Alopecia, patchy, patchy, arieta. Nickel, nickel, nose and lung cancer. Lithium. Sir Pacop reviewer, so 
This is in clinical toxicology muna. So let's answer muna about 20 questions.
I think that would be the end of this live stream. So again, we studied module 4. We had a little bit of lecture about ADRs and we got a flashcard of ADR and we have a PACO practice. So nagsascan nags lang ako talaga dun sa PACO kasi medyo madami sila. So every color ng PACO like 10 questions ganun. Scan scan lang talaga at testing kung may naaalala ako ganun. I think I need to review more on the CNS drugs kasi at saka yung mga basic foundation sa pharmacology kasi more likely sila yung lalabas and also uh, I'm going to review yung mga quizzes namin. So thank you again for joining me with this live stream and I hope to see you again sa live stream ko. I will link yung mga, ay hindi pala, I will put a timestamp kung saan nagsimula at nag-end yung mga ginawa natin during this live stream para mas madaling balikan. You can comment down below if gusto nyo ng, ng notes, if you want some notes, para mas madali kong isend sa inyo through G Drive. <coughs> so, that will be all. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.